Kansas has been devoid of mountain lions since 1904, when the last documented native cougar was dispatched in Ellis County. But in recent years, sightings have shot up around the state, begging the question, are cougars returning to Kansas? According to the Kansas Mammal Atlas, the cougar, also known as the puma or mountain lion, is a large, long-tailed cat with a slender build, short, muscular limbs, and a black-tipped tail. Adults can reach up to 9 feet in length and have a weight of up to 220 pounds. Cougar can be differentiated from bobcat by the proportionally smaller head, longer tail, and different coloration. Cougar tracks are easily distinguished from domestic dog tracks by their asymmetry, the presence of a large three-lobed heel pad, and forward orientation of the outer toes. The cougar has the largest distribution of any mammal in the Western Hemisphere, ranging from southeastern Alaska to southern Chile and Argentina. When settlers came to Kansas, cougars could be found throughout the region. Their numbers decreased as their prey, primarily deer, were over-harvested by a largely rural subsistence culture. A settler in Barber County once told a story about a cougar hunt that he participated in. Sam Helton, a hunter and trapper in Barber County in the 1870s, was tracking a cougar that lived in the area. Sam tracked the cougar to a location known as Harvard Cave, which Sam described as a tough cave to enter because you had to lower yourself into a sinkhole and then crawl through a restriction to enter the cave. Once past the restriction, which you had to wriggle through on your belly for several feet, the cave expanded into an opening which you could stand up in. According to Helton, he and another man named Louie entered the cave and found the cougar taking refuge inside. Upon entering the opening, they spooked the lion, which then lunged at the man. Sam took a shot and missed, but Louie was able to hit the animal in mid-air, exclaiming, I shot the son of a bitch! After the last confirmed sighting in 1904, it was over a century until the next confirmed sighting in Kansas was made. In 2001, a mammologist at the Fort Hayes State University and a leading expert on mammals in Kansas said, By definition, the puma will not be documented as occurring in Kansas until someone kills one or finds a roadkill. That day finally came in 2007, when a rancher in Barber County saw one in a field near where he was cutting wood and killed it with a rifle he had in his truck. The next string of mountain lion sightings in Kansas occurred in 2009. In March of 2009, a young male raised at a wildlife rehab center near Estes Park, Colorado, wandered across western Kansas for nearly a month, mostly following the Smoky Hill and Arkansas rivers. It was tracked by a GPS transmitter collar that it was wearing. It eventually left the state and traveled into New Mexico. In October of 2009, another cougar was photographed northwest of Joaquini in Trago County. In the 2010s, the sightings became much more numerous. October 19, 2010, Cougar photographed in Cortland in Republic County. December 7, 2010, Cougar photographed in Nemaha County. December 15, 2010, Carcass of Male Mountain Lion reported in Osborne County. November 9, 2011, Cougar photographed in Atchison County. November 14, 2011, Tracks found in Atchison County. These were probably from the same mountain lion photographed a few days before. January 18th, 2012, tracks found in Washington County. October 31st, 2012, cougar photographed in Stafford County. October 22, 2014, cougar photographed in Labette County. August 3rd, 2015, cougar photographed near Webster in Rooks County. August 15th, 2015, cougar photographed near Hayes in Ellis County. Experts believe this could be the same animal from Rooks County, based on travel distance and direction. August 23, 2015. Cougar photographed near Great Bend in Barton County, possibly the same animal recorded in Rooks and Ellis Counties. September 24, 2015. Cougar photographed near Argonia in Sumner County. This could be the same mountain lion photographed at several locations in August. The family had reported seeing tracks and the actual animal prior to the capturing of this photo on trail cam. October 23, 2015, young mountain lion found dead in a shed near Dodge City. Although it had caught its head in a tiller, it appeared to be in extremely poor health prior to the incident. Mid-September 2016, cougar photographed by a hunter's trail cam in Rollins County. November 9, 2016, cougar photographed by a hunter's trail cam at Fort Riley. November 20, 2016, 
cougar photographed by a hunter's trail camera in Shawnee County. November 24th, 2016. Report of a cougar treed by a coon hound and videoed by hunters in Wabansee County. January 31st, 2019. Cougar found dead and reported by Rooks County Upland Game bird hunters. Subsequent investigation revealed that the hunter shot it after it threatened the group and their dogs. Late November 2020, cougar photographed by a trail camera in Kiowa County. May 2021, a cougar was captured in several locations in Sedgwick County by ring cameras as the animal trekked through major metropolitan areas like Wichita and Andover. In this video, shared by a Riverside resident, the animal can be seen walking through an alley behind their house. And in this video, an Andover's resident's ring camera captured a mountain lion walking past his home in the early morning. Biologists think it's currently unlikely that there are breeding populations of cougars in Kansas. So where did these big cats come from? Most of these sightings have been reported young males, most likely searching for a new territory and mates after being displaced by older, more dominant males. An increase in mountain lion populations in the Black Hills and the Colorado Rockies may have contributed to the recent sightings in Kansas. A few biologists, however, maintain that the mountain lions could actually be coming from the Ozarks of Missouri and Arkansas. Experts do acknowledge that given Kansas's sizable deer population, and areas of suitable habitat in remote locations like the Gypsum Hills and Barber County, it is possible that in the future, cougars could expand their range and once again establish a small but permanent presence within our border. So what are your thoughts about cougars in Kansas? Please share with us in the comments below if you have a story about cougars. I'd like to give a special shout out to my Patreon supporters, Kathy Artzer, Robert Larson, Nancy Garwood, Dorothy Adams, and Sharon Black. Thank you so much for your support. Please like and subscribe to help support future videos just like this. I look forward to seeing you in the next video.